Mr. Mari Mays, Leon Howard, Makai Bennett, Mr. Marion Pendleton. My name is Yasmin Edgerton. My name is Jody Buchanan, and I'm in the 12th grade. I'm in the 6th grade. 6th grade. 4th grade. I am in the 6th grade. And I'm in the 8th grade. A typical day starts from coming from breakfast. And we usually come from breakfast up the hallways. And then we go on our class and our teacher says good morning. Every morning she stands by the door and says good morning. And we all walk in. And yeah. Ms. Stewart says good morning. It makes me feel good and special because she's happy that we come to school every day. In the morning, I get my things ready to go to Gifted. I go to Gifted from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, and then I go to Spanish from 10 o'clock to 10.45, and then I go back to Gifted for math um, for 11 o'clock, from 11 o'clock to 11.30, and then I'm in Ms. Lane class for the rest of the day. I go to Gifted for reading. A day in my classroom, it's fun, it's interesting. First thing we do is do our journals and we write about a topic. Then we do our reading. We read with the class so everybody can get an understanding. Then we do a little bit of math. Um, we do some social studies. And then we do science. Then we go to lunch. Then we do, we repeat the process so we can go over the, the things we didn't do and the things we learning. At 2.30, we go to our special. So that's what we be doing last night. So in the morning, I go to band first period. Then I head over to math. And then I have science. Then I go back to math for enrichment. And then I have lunch. And after lunch, I have social study and then I have English 9 and then I have physical, physical education and then I have Spanish too. It's pretty cool in the morning then you go to lunch, go to criminal justice, go to a meeting for National Honor Society and then I come to practice and go home. In gifted class it's challenging um, she pushes us to do our best um, she just basically want us to proceed, um, never let nobody tell you what you can and cannot do. Um, and I feel like that is actually a good thing to tell kids because a lot of kids, they think just because somebody told them something is going to knock them down. Um, but to me, she tells me to stay strong and stay powerful. You're a sweet little girl and never let nobody take that away from you. I know that a 20-day cycle is basically what you've been learning about for the past 20 days. To see how far we've grown. Well, we take like a checkup every three to four days, and then we take a big test every 20 days. And I guess that's just to see what we're doing and how much progress that we're making in class and like what we're learning and how we can perform better on the test. When you take more tests, you gain an experience and it prepares you for the big state test. The donut is just to see where we are, like um, if we're in the red or the yellow or the green or the blue. It's all basically about all our test scores and like where we master and certain standards and where we not mastered in certain standards, basically shares our scores and pits us in groups. We do not want to be in a red. Red is, we, we not there. Okay. When we first started our test, we wasn't there. It was a lot of red. Green is good. Blue is good. Yellow is close to red. We don't want that. My gifted teacher, she actually goes over us with our scores, so she had us write down what we're going to do differently. Miss Erin really likes the blue, so she wants us all to be in blue. I feel like it's really a good school. Like, we do a lot here. We learn a lot, and I like it. It's a good school to be at. I do see a difference within the school year from last year and this year. Um, 
cultural and social differences um, that I see are people like interact with each other more. It's not like, it's not too many people that's like by themselves. I think the staff chemistry with the students are pretty good this year. They're like trying to hear them out and talk to them and get to know them versus like, oh, you're suspended, you know? Well, first off, Caledonia is a great school. Caledonia is a school where kids will want to come to not just for the fun, not just for the food, not just for the lady, but come together like a family. I get me Cleveland at its best. I am the definition of success. I am East Cleveland at its best. I am free.